Hi, I'm Michael Gadlin. And I'm Kate Perdoni. Welcome back to Arts District on Rocky Mountain PBS. Music duo Friendship has deep roots here in Colorado. One of the band's members, James, grew up near Morrison, and he headed to the West Coast where he met a friend named Brett. The band racked up tens of millions of streams with this hit song, Capsize. They've gained a massive following, and now they're an international touring act. Arts District producers Jenny Castor and Jeffrey Dallet spent a day with Friendship on the last day of their North American tour, which ended right here with a homecoming in Denver. Hey, that's Brett and I'm James and we're Friendship. I'm living with that old you so. We, a long time ago, <laughs> like four or five years ago, met uh, working at Lululemon. Um, I was coming off a failed DJ career, and he was coming off a singer-songwriter career that was maybe not failed, but in a similar, it was blooming, flourishing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some money, so I got a job a couple blocks from my apartment in Brentwood, and then he came about a month after. And we didn't really want to work together at first. Uh, we were both kind of fried on music. We went out a lot, honestly, together. And as friends do. As friends do, kind of tore Santa Monica up. I listened to his stuff and I was like, oh, he's got a nice voice. I listened to his stuff, I was like, oh, he's got nice artwork. The first song we made together was that song, Kids. And then we needed a name and the going mantra at the time when there's whereas uh, there's big ships, there's little ships, but the best ship is friendship. So we signed a publishing deal to leave our jobs at Lululemon, and then that money was gone, so we were just broke. I think in those yeah. moments of like fight or flight, you fight like that's our instinct. It was a very kind of tumultuous time, and we have four songs. Let's just put them out and move on. We took $1,000. We paid for basically a two-month campaign, so for that song Carpet and the song Capsize, to run, you know, just PR for it and see what would happen. Two days later, it was, there's a uh, website called Hype Machine. It's like the, like the go-to list for the industry. And then it charted and it stuck at number one. Spotify found it on there. Tossed it in New Music Friday. We freaked out. And yeah, he comes barreling out of the hotel. Like, we made New Music Friday. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, exactly, oh my god. yeah. It was like, we made it. <laughs> I'm from a place called Kinkara Valley, so it's just kind of south of Morrison. So this song is about this town. It's called Morrison. Here we go. I'm influenced by this place a lot. I think we make music that fits that landscape. Colorado's pretty consistently in my mind. Growing up skiing every weekend and just seeing open space and breathing fresh air and it makes me, yeah, I think it probably heavily influences what we at least sonically try to do. I mean, I grew up listening to John Mellencamp, B-52s, there's Phil Collins in there, Peter Gabriel. I, tour, I just want one jump, just one. If you could try and simplify who we are and what we do and why we do it, it's playing them live. I think that's where we make the most sense too, is live. I think you'll finally understand us fully once you show up to our show. One, two, three. It's pretty rocky live. It has indie rock vibes live. It's electronic. There's some like hip hop y stuff going on. It's really high energy. I think we, we have a damn good show now. And we've worked really hard on it. And I think we can convert most people that show up. I think it's, it's really fun to see that dude who shows up like this evolve into like this by the end of the show. And we were playing in Boise and 
this guy came up to me, big like motorcycle gang dude, like oh, yeah, wearing his leather, <laughs> like guys, right? whatever, all of his patches and everything. And he's like, you guys are incredible. And he's like, my bike, my bike loves a good ride. So I want to know where you guys are going next. I can feel your heart beating. At this stage, we do it all still. Try to give you a reason. We literally show up put our gloves on, like our work gloves, and start. So then I'll have to double stuff up quite yeah. a bit. The whole light show. Yeah. That, right? Someday we will never do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for now we do. It means so much that we are finishing this tour in my hometown, Denver. You will always be my home. So, Denver, you mean the world to us. We are so honored you were here tonight. My favorite sentiment while playing live is being able to see everyone's interpretation of our song. It's hopefully like tearing down a lot of those boundaries between people and you get to see those boundaries gone. And... I think performing makes it all make sense. It, it kind of just like finishes the circle for us. Our team shared a full day with friendship and there's much, much more to find out on our website at rmpbs.org slash artsdistrict.